And I don't expect to see any of the secondaries from Sako here. Like, I don't expect to see Kage. I don't expect to see Lucia or anything like that. And there is a handshake right there. A handshake between two players with so many years of fighting games under their belt, so many hours of fighting games, so many number of fighting games under their belt. Alrighty. Locked and loaded. And you know, Itabashi does not play the tire very often. He's really about the parry, I think, and that's the V skill he really represents a lot, as we see it here as well. And he also really loves this costume, too. And a lot of people say it's, you know, because when he activates trigger, you can't, it's harder to tell. Yeah. Because he goes from red to red. It's pretty funny. Also, I think V skill, too, for Manon here. It's a V skill uh, that's yeah. interesting. You don't see it a ton, but there are some good utility, I think, off of it. Maybe in this matchup, because no fireballs on the screen or whatever, he's just going to use the V skill. Mm. For Gives setup. him a combo ender, you know. Yeah. Wow, this looks brutal so far. <laughs> the but, life, yeah, but this round could still be an Itabashi round, to yeah, be honest with you. I mean, we, we just talked about this, right? Doing all this damage here yeah, and there. Even combo. But this should be able to finish it here. Yeah, the perfect, and I think Itabashi a little too wily for his own good. He was like, <laughs> you know what, I'm going forward. You're like, but what if he hit, no, forward. <laughs> Okay. Again, same kind of situation. Just walking into buttons. Has the anti-airs. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, the soul spark. It's very good for that reason, right? A spiral. The V skill 2 in situations like that, I think, are great. The build UV gauge. That's the first damage that Itabashi has gotten. Yeah, and it's not much. It's still swing, 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 jump, jump, jump. Yeah, and there you see the use of that V skill too. You know, gives you those kind of ranges for activation that she, to, to, to pull the orb back that she doesn't normally have. Yeah, and also build the V trigger as well. You have the activation off of it. Look at Itabashi. this, just going in for pressure right now. That hurts, dude. That throw did a ton of damage. He's gonna get the second activation here. Yeah. Anti air. Oh, and the orbs are still coming. And that's oh. that hit of Bashi Zangu. Back and down back, not his ally. I mean, honestly, that match right there, Sako almost looked like he was playing Manat as a rushdown character. Yeah. You know, there was just attack, 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 constantly. That mid-range is brutal for Abigail, oh, but it's a little bit less brutal than he made it look. I think if you're Inabashi here, you got a little too wily in that first game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trying to parry yeah. something, getting a little too cute for his own good, maybe. Nice throw tech from Inabashi. Oh, what? The roundhouse to crush the poke. Yeah, that move is really good against big bodies, as yeah. you can see. Yeah, abusing it. Beats jumps. It's a washing machine right now, just like spinning around. Yeah. He's gonna get the recall as well. Jumps out. This is big, yeah. but. The getting hit out of the air was crucial, though, because the air reset kind of threw off Inabashi's timing. But guess what? You are in the corner, and here we go. This could be the end of everything. Yeah, close to stun. Oh, the command grab, that's that. Look, you felt bad for Itabashi last game, but now just look at what happens when he gets the hit. That is what happens. This, that was played out exactly as we talked about before the match started. Oh, again, swinging away with that standing heavy kick. Oh, God, that's so good. It's really giving uh, Itabashi a lot of trouble. It gives horizontal range in that into the recall that mm -hmm. is really tr uh, tough for him to deal with. He, he needs to like swing into it to be, yeah, like that with the jab, right? He needs Ooh. to jab, not easy to do. Wow, I can't move that Good range, caught it, connected, and is trying to take him all the way to the corner now. Gets in with the giant flip, not this time. Confirmed the, off of the. Wow, he got the jump fierce. Is that because Abby goes tall? <laughs> oh, big jump, B trigger. Activation, okay, okay. Let me gather myself here after that soccer. Oh, punched out of the air, gets the hit again. Oh, he got him! He, he, out of the air, and uh, let's do a little dance. This is gonna kill it is! Yeah, I think it actually... <laughs> he committed to the medium punch, it looked like there, and he was just ready for it. You see the little smile, he's like, oh, man. He's like, I jumped! I can't believe I didn't make it over! And you get that nice little pushback off of that V skill, too, which is nice. Build yeah. a little space. Yeah, mostly he's just looking for the recall after, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to really commit to too much. Oh, that sweep was unsafe. Okay, got in with the giant flip, but then just a jump back away even confirms the sweep afterwards. Yeah, and that jump right there has been something that's a wow! problem. Yeah, but it's orbed heavy kick, so not a big punish. Goes for the meaty set up. Sako challenging. Yeah, super safe. Didn't even go in there. Gonna maybe 
spiral in there into orbs. No. Oh, just orbs now. Out. Orbs. Gonna be able to confirm off of it. And Sako going up 2 0. But remember, that's what he did on the winner's side. And he still lost to Nauman. He definitely cannot rest right now. And yeah, you see the stress on his face, too. I mean, he knows he's up against a character and a player who really succeed oh. with the gamble, right? That's just something that they have available. So, like, if you're fighting Abigail, you're fighting Inabashi here, you cannot be too confident, right? One jump, one decision he makes correct could just be the end of the round. As we see that sweep in our early crush and Asako in trouble. Well, back dash. Throw works. Okay. Has the anti-air ready, and there you go. Always using that spiral to, to, to for the recall. Oh! Pushing buttons. Alright, yeah. Four him out. Looks for the overhead. Still has a meaty with the medium punch after, yeah. which is plus. Nice non-quick rise from Itabashi, but it's not working out anyway. Close to stun. That's going to do it. Sako is going to be at match point. Sitting not only on match point, but all of that critical art meter as well. That's yeah, huge in a matchup like this. I mean, we saw him use that uh, critical art earlier to get out of there, which is really big. Sweep. Yeah, tough to punish in that range. Yeah, so that light punch is probably the best that Itabashi is going to get. Takes the sweep as well. And He's throwing out those EX fireballs, trying to cover that space and doesn't go as far as the normal heavy orb. Man, Itabashi's almost stunned. He's got to be careful. Yeah, like that's that. why he's trying to keep him blocking all of these orbs. He doesn't want to let him get away with that. But now stun is no longer a threat. But he has lost so much life. But we've seen the kind of comeback Abigail can do. Oh. Oh, oh, miss. He's going to get the jump in, though. Whoa. I, I switch sides. I, oh, boy. Oh, overhead block nice punish. Nice block on the overhead. He should be able to get a ton of damage off of this. Is it enough? It is. Sako has eliminated Inabashi Zangief three games in a row. And a moves on on the loser's side. Yeah, and it's just extremely methodical and well thought out play. I love the V-Scale 2 pick in that matchup to really shut down him moving in with back fierce or giant flip or anything like that. He didn't have a chance. And